Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matoro and we are here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto V gaming content. And with that all said, we're going to get straight into the video. And welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install your superpower mod inside your Grand Theft Auto V folder. So make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's needed inside my description below. Once you have completed that, then I will leave this mod inside my description below as well. So make sure you download this mod. Unfortunately, I do not know how to pronounce this name. So I'm going to call this mod the Superpower Mod. So make sure you guys download all of the requirements and the mods that's needed. Once you have completed that process, then we're going to get straight into it. Go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. As you can see, I have already installed my requirements. So make sure you have installed your requirements first because that is needed. Once you completed that, then all you gotta do is just go into your scripts folder, open up your scripts folder. And as you can see, my scripts folder is completely empty. So it's a brand new folder. So open up your superpower mod extract folder. And inside that extract folder, there should be a scripts folder. Open up that folder. And now all you gotta do is just select all the files that's in there, except for the license.txt. Then now drag all of the files that's inside there into your scripts folder. And now exit out of your superpower mod extract folder. Now all you gotta do is make sure that you have the latest native ui.drl file and then drag it inside your scripts folder as well and now exit out of your native ui extract folder now we have completed that process go back to your grand theft auto v main folder right click and refresh your folder exit out of your game folder now guys i forgot to mention this part okay make sure you get a pen and paper and write these things down. Go back to the website, go back to the mod. So make sure you get a pen and paper and write all of these controls down so you don't have to keep coming back to the website to find out what is the control. And if you're using Xbox control, then this does work with an Xbox control. So make sure you just write down all of the controls. Okay guys, so that's really important. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get straight into the game. So I'll see you guys in the game And we are back as Franklin. So we're going to go and Show you the mod. Okay, but before I do show you guys the mod Just to let you know that this mod is best and it is really good to have it with like any other superhero like Superman, Batman uh, Hulk or any other superhero that you like, okay? So to activate the mod, it's real easy, just press F10 and then just press enter to activate the mod. Now in here, you can do whatever you want. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just going to leave it, just leave it as basic um, settings. But if you want to like, just say for an example, if you want a harder body, you can just change the settings in here. Or if you want to like, your force field to be really really strong then you can change the settings in here uh, electric field uh, yeah but once you have changed your settings in here really importantly make sure you save your settings too over here you can check for updates uh, over here too if you want to so yeah flying menu you can change the flying menu if you want to you can fly even like faster you can make it faster if you want to but warning if you do make it go faster like always the faster you go the bigger the mess 
which means that you might lag if you go faster. So it does lag out if you go really fast. So we're going to leave it like that and leave the settings on default so I don't have to go around and play with the settings. So here we are, as you can see, press Shift and X. And there you go. Uh, so press Shift and X to force field all the cars. Or if you want to do like press 3 and now you'll burn the car. Just press 3, any cars, okay? Any incoming cars, just press 3. three. See? Any vehicle, just press 3. Let me go to this vehicle over here and I will just press 3 on my keyboard. And there you go, see? Um, if you want to jump, super jump, really high, just press your space bar. Now, if you want to fly, unfortunately, I didn't read the controls properly, so I don't know how to fly. But if you want to know how to fly, look inside the uh, website and now uh, it will show you how to fly. But all I know is to fly it like that. But I don't know the rest, so um, I forgot. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, this is flying, guys. You can change the speed of the flying if you want to. So, yeah, see. Yeah, I see, as you can see on the map, the faster you go, the bigger the mess. And look at the map. It's lagging a bit because you're flying too fast. Uh, that's how you guys fly, really. So, I'm going to go down. Yeah, see, you can, um, what else can you do? Uh, you can teleport, just say for an example. There you right. go. You can teleport anywhere. Just use your middle mouse to teleport. See, use your middle mouse to teleport. But, but guys, I'm not going to show you guys how to use the controls okay because it's on the website just write it down okay but I just showed you how to install the mod and how to open the mod okay so we're gonna finish it off right here and I'll see you guys soon and we are back again guys so I really hope you guys do enjoy this mod this mod still works so I'm really really impressed that it still works at version 1.50 so i hope you guys do enjoy that mod but if you still get stuck installing this mod then let me know in a comment and i'll be more than welcome to help you guys out and if you still have other mods that you are stuck on then please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than welcome to help you out if i don't reply back on time like in one day or two days then please visit my discord server I will leave that in some of the discussions below and I will help you guys on my Discord server. So with that I said guys, I hope you do enjoy the video. If you guys did, please smash that like button and subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto V gaming content and I'll see you guys on my next video. Don't forget, I will be live streaming soon on my PlayStation 4 so stay tuned for that. So with that I said, I hope you do enjoy this video and I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace. And I'm out.